and maybe uh ethical sadism it's it's good to get vengeance and revenge so as long as you enjoy the pain against people you don't like and i see that as a reoccurring gag with really smart people in power whether it's starting wars or in boxing matches so there is some truth to that uh, but again I wouldn't take sadism as face value as being completely evil and corrupt because we forget where, you know, the text comes from. I don't see it as evil and corrupt if I look at it in a natural way. When I look at it in a, in a, a perverse way, I you see it as I don't see anything as evil. First of all, I don't see things as good or evil or bad or good. I don't see things like that. So, so that's not something that's going to come through through me. But I, I I see things. There's a natural or there's a natural order. There's a natural situation, and there's a perverse situation. But you talk about the idea of exploring, you know, like seeing pleasure in it. But where did pleasure go? How did we lose pleasure? Is really what the thing is. I think people are no, what we're noticing back with the sod is like, how did we lose this? What happened? I, and I wonder if we're even smart enough to think that. But like, how did we get to this point? How did we lose hedonism? How did we lose pleasures? 